Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply a three-digit number by a two-digit number. We'll go through two examples together, and then I'll give you two practice problems that you can try on your own. Let's jump into number one, where we have 154 times 26. Now we'll start by setting this up. So all we're going to be doing here is lining up the places. So 154 times 26. So the ones place is lined up, the four and the six. The tens place is lined up, the five and the two. And then we have a one in the hundreds place. And now that we're set up, we're going to multiply. And really what we're going to be doing here is 154 times six and then 154 times 20. And I'm saying 20 because that two is in the tens place. So it has a value of 20. Then we take those results and add them for our final answer. So we'll start with six times four here. That gives us 24. So we write our four and then carry the two. Then we do six times five. That gives us 30 plus that two is 32. Carry the three. Then we have six times one. That gives us six plus that three is nine. 154 times six is 924. And now we are done with this six done with this two, and done with this three. I like crossing numbers off when we are done with them. That way we don't confuse them with any other numbers later in the problem as we're working through. It helps us stay organized. Now we need to do 154 times 20. So we're moving over to that two in the tens place. And since we're moving over to that two in the tens place and we have 20, we need a zero right here. And then we can multiply. So we'll start with two times four, that gives us eight. Then we have two times five, that's 10, carry the one. And then we have two times one, which is two, plus that one is three. So 154 times 20 equals 3080. And now we add 924 and 3080. We'll start with four plus zero, that's four. Then we have two plus eight, that's 10. So write our zero, carry the one. Then we have one plus nine is 10, plus zero is 10. So a zero, carry the one. And then we have one plus three, which is four. So we end up with 4,004. And that's our final answer. We are done. Let's move on to number two, where we have 795 times 83. So let's set this up. 795 times 83. So we'll do 795 times three, and then 795 times 80, and then add those to get our final answer. So we'll start with three times five here. That's 15, carry the one. Then we have three times nine, which is 27, plus one is 28, carry the two. And then we have three times seven, which is 21, plus two is 23. We are done with this three, done with this one, and done with this two. Now we move over to the eight in the tens place. So we need our zero here, and then we can multiply. We start with eight times five, that's 40. So write our zero and carry the four. Now we have eight times nine, which is 72, plus four is 76. So write our six, carry the seven. And then next we have eight times seven, which is 56 plus seven is 63. So 795 times three is 2,385, and then 795 times 80 is 63,600. So let's add these for our final answer. 
5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 0 is 8. 3 plus 6 is 9. 2 plus 3 is 5. And then we have a 6 in the 10 thousands place. So our final answer, 65,985. So those were our two example problems. Let's move on to some practice problems that you can try on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. So here are your practice problems. I'll give you three minutes and then we will go over the answers. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time or jump ahead to the answers if you're ready. Go ahead and start. Okay, so that was three minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, 242 times 39 equals 9,438. For number two, 951 times 75 equals 71,325. So there you have it. There's how to multiply a three-digit number by a two-digit number. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.